Jay Wynn, it's, it's time. Crazy. Play me some Pimpin. It's time to get back on task, man. We got the whole show to do. Not only do we have a podcast to shoot, but I feel like it's going to be a black history lesson. Yes, sir. For everybody oh, watching this show. You feel me? Because we get to hear it. We done heard bits and pieces. But now it's official. In the trap, we have a black street icon with us mm -hmm. today. Legend. A legend. Let's he go. did it first. Bounced back, beat the system, came back. Come on. Now he's flipping it all legit. legit. Writing books, doing work in the community. Man, expanding into the marijuana industry. Come on. Done it all, Solid. seen it all, Solid. spent it all. Yeah. None other than Freeway Rick Ross. Yeah! First of all, man, welcome, man, welcome man. to the show. Man, yes. I've been trying to get here before the pandemic started. I know, man. I've been trying Whoa. to get here. I've been trying to get here. You a busy finally, dude. You a busy finally, dude. Finally. We got you. We got you here. Finally, we made it, man. I'm Might not be no, yeah, I'm yeah. excited, too. Man, you know? look how many people are sitting around the room. Never had this many people. Everybody wanted to come see you. Mm -hmm. I appreciate it. I appreciate yeah. it. But only because of y'all. Y'all the one make them come see me. Shit, we, that's why we had to do it. We put the call in. Mm -hmm. you know, I, I, I tell them all the time, right, when when you was asking me at the beginning when we first sit down, why why my movie ain't out. Right. Because the only reason you asked me that is because you already know my movie is going to shake the whole country. You might have on, to man. do like three movies. You know what I'm saying? That's why you said it. Yeah. I want to see it. You I, might I, have to be like... You might have to do like three of them. And I'm going to audition. I've, I've been working on my shit. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to audition, man. At least let me, at he least can play a TV you. series. <laughs> he can play you? I don't know, he might make it. He might make it. Shit, come on, man. I want to audition. So you, what you saying, you saying they scared to take it, they, they, they ain't offering the right check, man. Yeah, they, 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 they try to, sh we go to a meeting, right? Right. They offer the guy that's going to turn it into a, a screenplay. Because I already wrote my story. Right. You know, I wrote the story. Right. It's my story. It's my story. story. Right. Yeah, it's yours. So they offer him two and a half million. And they're going to give me 600000 And they tell me I got to walk away. So they're going to tell another they nigga to right rewrite your story. And, and for give me to walk away. Fuck no. The three, the three or four big, four biggest guys in Hollywood told all of them told me that. It's like they all had got together and, and had. Why, up. why the walk away though? Why you can't? Why they couldn't let you be a consultant? We got the article. You should have been. That's a cold article there. EP, all that. That's shit. a cold article there. Okay. Bring me the sharpie then. What would he say? What would he say on there? That's my bitch. He was writing my obituary. At the next page, you probably got to pull to the next page. But he was talking about he was writing my obituary. Ooh. But anyway, uh, the reporter from the LA Magazine. Oh, that nigga, that Give me the backstory on this article. Well, I was sitting Pull in, it up, Rick Ross is dreaming. I was sitting in USP Lompoc and uh, this reporter uh, came up to see me, right? Right. And uh, I don't know, cause you know, I'm, I'm in jail and studying the law, you know, grinding them law books now. I'm grinding law books like I used to grind that dope. Right. I'm right. grinding them. Right. They're like hard. Right. So they called me to the visiting room. They was like, Jesse Katz out here to see you. I've been knowing Jesse a long time. He used to write for Metro, LA Metro when, when the cops was chasing me and everything. So, you know, I'd be like, ah, they ain't got no case. They ain't gonna catch me. Right. You know, I, this is how I used to talk to him and you know, he, okay, we're gonna see. So. He come to see me this time. <clears throat> he got his tape recording, his little pad, and he was like, yeah, man, I'm doing this article for uh, LA Magazine, and you know, they told me to come up here and see you. Right. I don't know that they consider this is the last time they're gonna ever write about me. Right. Basically what he was saying, he said, I'm writing his obituary, so he's saying he's writing me off that I'm, I'm dying inside of this penitentiary. You're never gonna get out. I'm yeah. never getting out. But inside this article, I'm telling him, no, 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 hold up. It's another picture over here. See, I done drew a picture over here that y'all don't even see. So I'm telling him about the boxing, the music business, uh, books, movies, documentary. You know, my documentary already was number one on Netflix for a year and a half. Right. Yeah. Hell yeah. 
All right, let's go to the beginning. How did it? How did all? How did we get here? Listening. How did all of this start? I mean, just we were just it. listening to who was that? We was just listening to the Sugar Hill game. Sugar Hill. Yeah. Tell us. Tell after us. that. After what? that. After uh, that. Who? Who? who let's do after Curtis Mayfield. Curtis Mayfield. Curtis Mayfield. Okay. Yeah. And he's dead. Okay. Yeah. This is the shit I grew up on. Right. So, one of my older cousins, he take me one day. I'm about 15. He takes me to the movie theater. Me and all my little cousins, all of us, he just piled us all in the car. So we go, and they turn the screen on, and it's super fly. Mm -hmm. And they playing Curtis Mayfield, and Freddie's dead. And, and then I see this brother, though, who really, like, just did it for me. I see this brother stare down like 10 white cops. Yeah. Like, fuck y'all, cracker. Right. Doing my dirty laundry ain't going to save you. I said, a brother talking to white folks like that? Because I'm, I'm from Texas where, where my uncles and, and my mom and them, yes, sir, yes, ma'am. Right, right. To right. white people. Right. Yeah. And nothing better not happen to one gorgeous hair on my head. You dig? Right. right. <laughs> Is that what he told him? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he said, you think I got, I, I got some of them brothers? No, I got white boys that's going to get you. You forgot right. to mention one thing, them pretty white ones that work for me, too. <laughs> he wasn't playing. So when I saw that movie, my whole life changed. Right. I saw a dude that I wanted to be like. Right. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I wanted to be like Arthur Ashe at one time, too. You know, that was yeah. like my guy before Superfly came along. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, I was on Ashe real hard. I played tennis, mm -hmm. you know. I was still playing tennis. So that shit kind of coincided, right? If I, like. Well, kind of, but not really, you know. Basically, what tennis did for me is tennis gave me a strategy. OK. You know, and tennis is a lot of strategy. And I didn't know this, but, but I got two new babies that, that I got playing tennis now, but I still want to go to Wimbledon. I ain't gave that dream up yet. Yeah, it's coming. Yeah. 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 You know what I mean? And then, you know, I'm right there. You know, Venus and Serena used to practice with my older kids. Come on. Mm, that's lit. Wow. Yeah, so, so I see them when they was little, and, and my kids was right there with them. You know, right. like, they would come to the park to practice. Right. With my group, you know, I had a whole little, little like a little tennis camp, like 15 kids all together, because you know I know how kids are. If they got a lot of kids with them, they'll do a little more than right, yeah, right, if right. you're just working them by themselves. So Venus and Serena would come down to the park and play with the group, because mm -hmm. you know it wasn't nowhere else to go and get that kind of practice. And, and saying that, I saw them. You know, I, I saw the dream and I saw the dad, the way he was working and mm -hmm. and and because I was younger than they dad, mm -hmm. you know, I was a little younger than him, uh, but I was probably more experienced mm -hmm. in tennis than he was. Mm -hmm. Right. But I still watched him and I remember what he did, the steps that he took to get his kids to where they at today. Right. And, and I say, well, Sean, all I got to do is follow his recipe. I mean, he, he laid it out for you. Yeah. Right. 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 <clears throat> and that's what I'm doing right now with tennis. But. Uh, I was playing tennis, and, and then my cousin took me to that, to, that, to that theater, man, and I'm hearing this music for the first time, and I'm seeing Superfly for the first time, and I'm like, Shh, I ain't never seen no black man like that. Right. You know, I ain't seen him make us lay down on, the, on our stomachs right. And, right. and sit on the curb, and you, you just getting out of church with your suit on, and you sit on the curb, boy, don't say nothing. You know, I ain't seen all that, but I ain't never seen no black man, you know, just stand up to no tin white cops and then you know make them back down so uh and i looked at it as if cocaine gave him that power mm. Mm. that all of his power was coming from cocaine so mm. that's how the seed got planted because it all started from a thought first right you right know, you got to think about that shit before you can actually put it into motion right so so i thought about it first just like in that article <laughs> I thought about all the stuff I was going to be doing when I got home. Yeah. See, what, what, what he didn't know, and, and he told me when, when, when I got out of prison, when day we was riding on the freeway, I was speaking at an AA meeting, and, and he came because he's he writing another story about me. They never published it, the one he was writing in yet. But uh, <clears throat> we riding from the, from the meeting, and I look over, and he was like, just like staring at me like really crazy, right? And I was like, damn, dude, what's wrong with you? He's like, man, we on the 110 freeway. I said, and? He said, man, did you know when I did that last article on you, 30 days later, you won your appeal? I said, I never paid attention to that. I was just glad I won that motherfucker. Yeah. So. Man, there's so many layers to your, to your case, though. Oh, man, this right. thing get thick. It get thick. Yeah, yeah. Come on. <laughs> right, right. This thing like get I don't thick, watch that documentary. Man. Come on. <laughs> This thing get real thick, man. Uh, 
So I had already predicted that I was going to be telling politicians what to do. I was going to be speaking in universities. I don't even have a high school diploma. Yeah. If you go to my, my school and you put up my records, they're going to say that retarded. They're probably going to say retarded. Because that's how I felt when I was in school. Because I couldn't spell the and it and cat. And But then when I got to prison, and the brothers was like, Shh, the only way out of here is through the law library, my man. And you putting all your faith in that dude you gave that little money to. Okay. Right. Who he worked for. Right. And uh, <clears throat> after, after they gave me that little tip, you know, I said, shit, I better learn how to read. Right. And uh, my partner made me some cue cards. Two or three weeks, I was reading the newspaper and in prison? Yeah. In prison. And it just went from there, you know, yeah. when, uh, reading law books, from reading the newspaper to reading law books, interpreting the law. But you know, it, it, like with anything, if you stay on it constantly, right. if you constantly make that your, so a lot of times we, 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 we say we want stuff mm -hmm. or we gonna do stuff but that ain't our real intention. Right. You know, your real intention is back here in the back of your head, like, yeah, I, uh, I'm going to throw these motherfuckers for a curve, right. and then I'm going to do what I really want to do. Right. You know, and, and hopefully what you really want to do, you know, is, is, is be successful. Right. But, you know, sometimes, you know, we, we, we want to be successful, but in the back of our mind, we already said that I'm going to dauphine out you know, I'm going to drink my way out of this shit. I'm going to eat my way out of it. I mean, there's so many ways that, that people stop themselves from succeeding. Right. <clears throat> you know, uh, you know, I'm doing boxing now, too. Right. You know, I'm about to take over the boxing. I might well take that with the weed. Right. Know? They all wide open. Ain't, right. nobody, ain't nobody guarding them. So <clears throat> with boxing, they got a saying where boxers eat their way out of a title. Right. You know, one minute they great shape and fit, and, and then all of a sudden they get a little money, start eating, stop running, you know, don't want to train like they're supposed to, right. and the next thing you know, he done lost. Yeah. And that's the same way basically with, with, with basic life, that if you're doing things that's detrimental to the way that you're talking about going, then yeah. it's going to take away from that that you're trying to accomplish. And, I just try not to do that to myself, you know. Uh, let somebody else do it to me. It's okay. It's better for them to do it to me than me to do it to myself. Right, right, yeah. Because if they do it to me, they can stop me while they're there. But once they leave, you know, I'm going right back to the program. Right, you right. Know? Yeah. I'm going to stick to the mission. So when you was 15 and at that moment he inspired you, because you said you ain't finished school. You just went straight into it, just jumped right into it. Not at 15, no. I kept playing, I kept playing tennis because I... I was under the impression that, that, uh, that you could go pro in tennis. You can. You right. can. You can go pro in tennis at like 14 years old if you got the money. Right. right. So I was thinking so. that, you know, <laughs> one morning I was just going to wake up and explode. You right. know, my game was going to... And, and I, I ran experiments too even when I played tennis. Like, I beat a dude who was like 101 in the world. He was like Arthur Ashe's right-hand guy. Right. And he was from my neighborhood. But he was to come and get me every time he come off service. He come and get me. I pra I was his practice partner because I did school. You know everybody else be in school. I did for I mean, fuck that. I ain't going to school today. I'm hitting with cornbread. Right, right. So he would come and get me. So I beat him one time. You know he went off on circuit. So I tell my boy. I said, man, I want to work hard as hell for a couple of weeks. And, and when cornbread get, when cornbread get back, I'm gonna be ready for him. So man, we worked for like a month straight. Right. Harder than I ever worked before. When he got back, I beat him. I, I beat my other partner, mm -hmm. who 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 uh, who graduated. When he graduated college, I think he was like two or three in the, in the nation. Mm -hmm. I beat all of them because I put that kind of work in. But I didn't keep that kind of work ethic up. You know, I I dropped back down right. after I accomplished my goal. You know, my goal was the wrong goal. Right. I didn't I didn't set the proper goal for myself. But. Uh, <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, yeah. From tennis, I just, I just learned those strategies. You know, right. put the pressure on when you got it. Mm -hmm. You know, don't, don't slack up. 
You know, like right now, people be talking about the vacation. I ain't had a vacation in 14 years. I've been home 14 years. I ain't took a vacation. Right. You know, I work every day, Saturday, Saturday Sunday. Uh, uh, my phone rang at 2, 3 in the morning. I'm picking it up. Somebody owed me $10 million. And I don't want them to be able to say that I didn't pick the phone up right. when they called. <laughs> Hell yeah. You hear me? You're no cap. Yeah, I'm going to pick that yeah. motherfucker up. Right now. I know you're going to call that phone. You hear me? Right. No cap. Because you're a man of your word. You hear me? I hope so. Yeah. No cap. Yeah, he's going to call me. Shit. Yeah, so, Ten you know, million. man, I'm just out here right now, man. I, I just feel like the luckiest man in the world, man. Right. Yeah. You know, just like you lose your life. And then you get it back. Right. But not only that, you get it back in a greater abundance than you ever thought was possible. Right, right. I mean, like right now, uh, it just feel like, I don't know, like I don't even deserve this shit. You know, like, Ooh. how the hell, you know, I'm, I question myself, you know, and I had to tell myself a couple of days ago, like, how you gonna sell, if you can't sell yourself to yourself, how you gonna sell yourself to everybody else? And you questioning yourself about should you be in the position that you're in right now? Right, right. Should you be the one who's doing the things that you're doing right now? Right. right. And then I wonder, like, why don't none of these other dudes see it? Right. You know, why they don't see the mission? Right. November 12th. What? Chicago, Illinois. What? Come shot on, man. Town. Going back to the shot Come on, man. We're going to the shot town. We're going to be at the back Wind the Trust shot Arena. And I trust that the wind will be there November 12th because it's going to be back November to the in Chicago. Shot Chicago, man. I'm going to get there back. early. It'd be hard as hell to get into them Chicago theaters. No cap. Yeah, 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 you got to park at the other theater to get into one theater. But yeah, hey, thanks. make sure you there November 12th. What? Get Return of the Ghetto Legends Tour, live in Chicago. Y'all been Wind saying we got to come back to man. Chicago playing, man. for the longest. We coming back on what? phone. When y'all coming back to Chicago? On phone. And we coming back. Hey, 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 hey. Don't say nothing they say up there. We don't know what that's so I mean, we don't? No. We didn't say it. Don't, don't say it no more. All right, well. All right, November 12th, we gonna figure out what we can and can't say in Chicago at the Wind Trust Arena. Yes. It's a lot of shit. Don't we probably can't wear all these bright ass colors. Nah, you just can't wear, wear your hat. Yeah, you can't wear your hat to a certain degree. Well, I wear my shit to the front. I'm them. So you. Where my man at right there with the hoodie on? Say something while I'm doing my shit, I dare you. November 5th. November 5th, DC just walked back in the building. He forgot something. November 5th, 2022, I'm at the Bogota in Atlantic City for one show headlining. That's right, headlining with no headline. That's the name of the tour. Headlining with no headline, Chico Bean coming to you live. November 18th, I'm at the Wilbur Theater in Boston, Massachusetts. Massachusetts, Massachusetts, nigga. It's going down, one show headline. Hey, Lil Haynes, you gonna edit this up real good, ain't you? I know you is. November 19th, I'm at the Foxwoods Casino in Mashantucket. Tucket. That's why, that's right. That's what the nigga with the hoodie on in the back look like. He take pistols and mash and tuck it. He don't never shoot them, though. But we in there. Make sure you get your tickets. And last but not least, November 25th through the 22nd, 27th, excuse me, 2022, I'm at the Improv in Tampa, Florida for five shows. That's right. How many niggas got the heart to do this shit like I do it? Nigga, look at my hang time in the back, though. Don't get it fucked up. My shit long where it count. Pause. See y'all niggas when I see you. Get your tickets. Chico being live. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Lex P. And it's your girl, Dre and Nicole. And y'all know who got the most fire merch in the game. 85 and four months, of course. Period. So y'all been asking about our rap tees that we had on tour for the longest. Our tour tees and the rap tees. They are both on the site right now available. Y'all go ahead, go to buypoorminds.com and get your t-shirts before they sell out. Yes, and also y'all know it's about to get cold outside and 85 just dropped some fire merch for the women. I'm mm -hmm. telling you, they got that all brown fit, the all blue fit, the red. It's going super, super super crazy. So make sure y'all go to 85apparel.com and get you a fit. I'm telling y'all, it's super comfy. It's airport outfits. You know, a little sneaky link outfit. Mm -hmm. Whatever you need. And I'm telling y'all, they are not restocking this, okay? It's exclusive for this season. So make sure y'all go to 85apparel.com buypoorminds.com and get y'all merch right now. Yes. You gotta make them. Force it. And, and How did they set all this shit up, though? Against you? See, which ones? And you know, I've been up against a whole bunch of shit. FX, 
<laughs> they stole my story. Like, right. Even with hey, hey, no, okay, so don't give me a dime. Man, John look, Singleton, look, look, hold on. Here John Singleton eating lunch and dinner every day. He no. getting he getting a deal. No, I'm broke. Am I homeless? And he don't give me a job. So let's let the people know out there. If you don't know, I'm talking about the government shit and all is, this. Based shit. off his life, that's, that's what I'm talking about. Snowfall is this. Hold on, so FA Snowfall is your is your life. Come on, man. Everybody know that's my that's, story. Yeah, that, yeah. I be minding my business, man. I ain't know that's my that. story. That's... Me and John Singleton was going to lunch. He was buying me lunch and stuff. We going over the script. What they they that they did Cassavetti wrote. They changed the uh, they changed your uh, connect. That's they did the a lot of changing, yeah. and, but the base of that shit, though. Right, the, the what base hooked, is yours. What hooked everybody. Right. Don't nobody, don't nobody believe there's a tiger in South Central L.A. Right, right. You can't sell that to nobody. At least from South, maybe you can sell it, you know, in some of these other states. Right. You know, they might believe L.A. dudes got tigers, and, you right. know, yours is too small. Right. Where are you going to keep it? Yes. Where are you going <laughs> to... Come on, man. So, so and cat that, shit stank. <laughs> I'ma just say that first that off. So stank. just imagine about you can't get this grown ass piss, tiger, you nigga. You can't get the piss smell out. Man, that hey, shit, that, that shit, that man. You know cats be pissing on and shit. They, they, they want them all. They, they, they weigh like seven, eight hundred pounds. That's what I'm saying, fam. Come he on. better not sneeze. Or everybody in the neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> no cap. <laughs> no rap. cap. That shit a rap. So, Damn. so, so it's my story. Right. John, John bought one of my first books. Mm. You know, I, I mean, I was so disappointed in John. I'm like, damn, man, don't none of these Negroes stand up? Don't none of them hold their own? Can none of them fuck with a real mo You see, don't none of them mess with me. You what entertainers you, you know, you what, entertainers, what entertainers you know that really fuck with me? Um, I ain't saying the ones that you see when they see me, oh, oh, big homie. Right. I'm talking about the ones who really fuck with me, who really come, you know who really fuck with me? Ooh. You know who got me on my feet? Ooh. Them street motherfuckers. Wow. The motherfuckers out there who sell wow. that dope and, 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 and buy a book and don't read it, right. sit on their coffee table. <laughs> right, right, You right. know what I'm saying? No They're cap. the ones who been buying my books. Right. Fact. Right. I know who been, I know who been right. supporting me. And how did that feel though, just being such an inspiration for what a lot of these people are doing? They running off with the sauce in, in different ways and you I know. mean, you, you, gotta, you gotta take the bitter with the sweet, you know? Right. If you don't ever taste bitter, you won't know what sweet is. So mm -hmm. I, I, gotta, I just gotta take that, right. you know? Right. I, I gotta deal with it. You know, people still in your name and, you know, won't even throw you a bone. Right. You know, even before the lawsuit, you know, before I sued him, I shouldn't even have to sue him. He should have had a car at the, at the front gate when I walked out the gate. Right. At least a car. You can take the the whole name and 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 and, and a lot of the stuff that he heard me say, even some of that's in, in some of the music. So you know when when you see all that, you know you just gotta say, damn man, what's wrong with my people? Yeah. My people fucked up. Right. You help them, you help them. I done helped so many people, and as soon as you help them, they get up and they kick you right in the ass. They don't appreciate it. They haven't been taught to appreciate a friend. Right. See, when I sold dope, I sold dope as a friend. I wasn't selling dope to destroy nobody. Right. My mind was a little twisted. I didn't know cocaine was addicted when I first started. Right. Nobody was hooked on crack. Nobody didn't know what a crackhead was at first. Right. The pimps were smoking, the doctors, Richard Pryor. Free base. You know, yeah. these are the motherfuckers that, oh, I want to be like them. Right, right. I used to want to be like Richard Pryor. Right. Right. Who didn't? The man had money. Fucking Pam Grip. They was involved with cocaine. I want to be involved, too. That's how I got started. Did you took that shit to Cold. another level. Because I wanted for my brother what I wanted for myself. Right. So they knew all my connections. All my guys knew my connections. I didn't hide them. Come on. Fact. Fuck with them if you talk. want to. Talk yeah, to go talk. ahead. Shoot your shot. Yeah. Just throw my point. 
You know what I'm saying? Just throw my point. Right. And I'm you good. Want to sell for shoes. So, yeah. so, 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 because you know, I coming heard. from the dope game, you know, niggas keep they plug. They keep it. You kept, you, you gave it away. You like, this, this my man. Yeah, as long as you don't misuse it. Right. Use it, but don't misuse it. The same thing I'm going to do with the weed. Now, I'm, I'm, in, I'm in five states right now. I'm finna be in Michigan and uh, Maryland. And I'm going to probably get a dispensary in Maryland. Pop it. All these dudes who getting it, they going, they going through burning, all them people getting deals, and they ain't going to make no money. I'm going to be the first one to open it up where they can really get some paper. Mm -hmm. Because <clears throat> I ain't working for money. Mm -hmm. You're working to help a friend. That's right. All right. And what I find out when you help a friend sometimes, they help you back. Right. Yeah. yeah. You know, they say it's like a Frisbee. You throw that out, and what you throw out <coughs> come back. Right. So, if they start selling medical cocaine, you fucking with it? Nah, I ain't gonna fuck with cocaine. No <laughs> oh, I was just—I might cut a corner again. <laughs> right. 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 That's why right. I almost didn't get in the weed business. I almost didn't get in the weed business. You, did you ever fuck with weed when you was trap. I just, just smoke it. You thought it was a trap, cause, but but now, now you know it's like okay, it's legal. I can I can yeah, use what I know. But it took legal. a minute though to get right, it. right. Cause you you know when I, when I got in, I'd only been out. Well, I've been out like four years. I'd only been out like four four years. Right. So. I was still like, you know, under that institutional thing, you know, like, and I see them all over the, the corners and everything, but I'm like, shit, I ain't got no license, you right. know? And then also that, that, that saying that you start with weed and then you go to harder drugs. Right, right. And I had to think about that, you know, with shit. I said, I started straight with cocaine first, so. Right. That right. theory don't work with me. Right, right, right. right. So, but it was hard for me to go and in, go into the business. You know, I went and talked to a few dudes that I respected from, from the Steve's game and, and asked their opinion about it, you know, what they thought. And, and, and I would be, it's crazy. All three of them gave me their blessing and say, man, you're you the right one. Right. So right. here I am in the weed business. I love hey. it. That's what's up. That's dope. Shit. I love it. Popular shit. Hey, one of the <laughs> And one of the faces of social equity. Let me, on, let's me, go. Let me tell you a little bit about social equity. Talk it. Uh, social equity started in, in California where we're going, and I'm kind of like, if you go Google social equity, my picture might pop up, but yeah, I ain't the one yeah. started it. They just pushed me out front and I took it. But social equity is where we went to the state of California, the city of Los Angeles, and we demanded that people of color be allowed to participate in the marijuana industry. Come on. What mm -hmm. we did is we got them to issue social equity. So if the license normally would cost you 500,000 with social equity, you can get that same license for five or $10,000. Shit, you qualify. I might even go out there. <laughs> hey, I might hey, hold on now. There. Hey, hold on. I got to say this. This need to be said, because you said some shit people probably going to misinterpret it. You said you sold cocaine as a friend. Right. But I don't think people realize how you, all the shit you're doing now is to help people. Right. You're trying to get people out of jail, out right. of these undue sentences. Not just social equity. You're trying to get people sentences. Anything to help the people, man. It's all about I wanted to ask you, hey, when you were going through your law work, you were the, you're saying that's when you're learning to read, you go through your law work. What did you find in your, in your case files that they said, I can, this is an angle that I can work? Oh, well, it's just simple. When, when you read the law under the, under the three strike law, 851 in the feds, um, what it says is that anybody who has two convictions and receive a third conviction can, can be sworn to the United States prison for life without the possibility of parole. So uh, my prosecutor, when, when, he, when he got me, it wasn't it wasn't enough dope in in, 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 this, in this in this in this little sting. They did a reverse sting on us anyway. It was it was a total setup, man. Right. This, this, right. this shit was total setup. But anyway, they didn't have enough dope. It was only a hundred kilos. That's, that ain't enough. It wasn't enough. <laughs> shit. Not to give you a life sentence. <coughs> only a hundred. Not at that time. It, it, no, it still won't give you. Period. A life. It's, it's less now. A hundred kilos won't give you a life sentence. Damn. You need about 
I think you need about 500 kilos to get a life sentence. You need a ton. Damn a ton? Man. Is it a ton? It might uh, be a ton. I don't, I don't know. know. I, I used to know all that shit when I was in jail, but I <laughs> forgot. I, I knew the guideline book and all that. Shit. So, so he didn't have enough. So what he did is he went with the three strike law for me. Because I had a, a prior, well really two or three prior convictions. Uh, um, but they come from one arrest. You know, I never, I never been to jail before, but when they arrest me, they take me to, to, to Cincinnati, LA, Texas, and Louisiana. So all them states was, was after me. So once I get found guilty of the first one, then I'm like, run the time concurrent. I'll plead guilty, you run the time concurrent. Mm -hmm. So they was like, all right, we don't want to spend no money on you either. You're going to give us our number. And, and we'll call it even. So I give them the number. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, so now I got three convictions. Mm. So when I get out, they got my supplier who's turning to an informant. Right. And he and he's from Nicaragua. Nicaragua. He was part of the, the CIA stuff. Right. That's he, how all the he CIA. He was doing the Contra shit. That's running how the all the CIA call. and Contra okay. and guns and all that stuff come in because of him. Mm. He was the one. So. While I'm in jail, he get busted. And he flipped. And then he flipped. So when I get out, he's, he's still in jail. He just, he just getting busted. But I don't know, because I ain't in touch with him. So anyway, he fine. He get my phone number, call me, and uh, start talking to me, you know. And, and, and uh, I think I'm through with dope, but you know, I'm, I'm, I love that shit. It's hard. You know what I'm saying? I love it. Money you know? coming in. And you, right. yeah. I loved it. And then I was building this theater, right? I was building a Apollo West where I was going to have a youth center and tennis courts. And I bought the building before I went to jail. Yeah. And, and I was fixing it up. It was going to be it was going to be cold. Whole like 4,500 people. So it was going to be a place where rappers could come and and, and then we can hold uh, the money we make from the, from the club was going to go back to taking care of the the youth part, mm -hmm. you know, all that <clears throat> stuff. Um, and then they came to me and was like, why are you trying to raise money when, when we got all the money you need? We, you, we got that thing. We can show you how to get that money. And it was a setup. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The whole time was just a cold setup. They was trying to lock me up. Right. And I wasn't selling no dope. I wasn't, I wasn't messing with no dope. At that time? You want to sell it? I wasn't selling no dope. Mm -hmm. I hadn't sold dope then in six years. I was clean. But they got you on um, buddy testimony, right? Oh. Yeah. Thursday, November 10th, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, at the Carlos Miller Theater. That's the Miller Highlight. Oh, well, you Miller you, and you, you live in the Highlight, so it's still your theater. It's still your theater. Don't That's a good stop all the way. Hey, hey look, return to get old legends. November 10th, man, Milwaukee, Milwaukee. Wisconsin. We come. 
Wisconsin. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know, it's right. definitely gonna be cold in Milwaukee. It did November, November 10th. 10th, yeah. But I'm we bringing coming. my snow boots. Yeah, we coming. November 10th. We're gonna bring the heat to Milwaukee. No cap. Return to get old legend store. Milwaukee. You know, Milwaukee, Milwaukee Wisconsin. You know, smile he the bitch. What? You know, smile he the lady bitch. Hey, and all the little <laughs> all the little freaks. <laughs> All the little freaks from Kenosha gonna come over there too. Yep, they sure is. Well, you, you know, already know. know. Kenosha, Washington, Kenosha. come through November 10th. We at the Miller Highlight Theater. Yeah. What kind of heaters? They the small heaters. They got the NBA. I'm bill. paying five, five bills. If you need your lights on, contact 85 South. No, contact DC Young Play. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> with the small here. November 10th, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Miller High Life Theater. Get your ticket. And we're going to give out some space heaters because we know them chicks we sleep know in the cold exactly. ass bedroom. No cap on the pallet. Hey, what's up? It's your man Carlos Miller. Sunday, November the 5th, we will be at the Neil Blaisdell Arena in Honolulu, Hawaii. Me, DJ d Rick, Esther Koo, DC Young Fly, and Rip Michaels. Make sure you grab those tickets. So you well, had an hour to stop selling dope by that time. You, you I was stopped done. selling dope before they ever arrested me. But the cold part about that shit is... They, they never they, called me with no dope. Yeah. I ain't never been caught with no dope. They hit you. You know, like dope right here or... Yeah. Or them raiding the house and my guy, you know, he, my guy got the dope. They ain't never none of that. They just called you out of the room and said, hey, man, <coughs> got some fun. Yeah. And they take this testimony as word when they ended up contract. He got the dope. He the one saying he got the right. dope. And he going to front it to me. Yeah. And then once you once the informant go in there, he can say anything. Oh, yeah, man, we done you. sold sixty million keys. Oh, man, me and him together. Yeah. That's what it was, was all his shit though. Ain't and that's on there. Oh, right. and nigga used to pack he told, a pistol. He, he tried to around. tell the jury that, that, that I'm the reason that he kept selling dope. He said he was gonna quit. And I, <laughs> <laughs> he said I kept giving him money. Right. right. <laughs> The right. fuck? And they and they and they bought that shit. They buy that shit. But he dude. was also working for the CIA. Mm. He was a CIA operative. So it was a plan from the get-go. I don't know, man. This is complicated. <laughs> yeah, now, you know, and I, I, I don't even really get into that part, but because right. it's so, it's so, you know, it's yeah. so much there, and it's right. so people won't understand, you know. Right, right. We don't want to say really, too much. They already stealing the, the, the ideas yeah. and shit. That shit ever bother you, knowing that this is the those people, like it don't get no higher than them. And, the, and, you, and hey, for you to personally know how they man, play this shit. I'm sitting in my cell, man, and they slide a paper up under my door. They say, the President of the United States just mentioned your name. I was like, wow. And then I'm reading Malcolm X's book, right? When I go to Cincinnati, and Ross Perot, Bill Clinton, George Bush, was running for president. And they had all three of their picture right next to my big picture. The ten million dollar man come to town to go to trial. They had a bigger picture of me on the newspaper than they had of the three dudes running for president. I say, Shh. I said, these people finna do they doing something for you. They lining you up. Because yeah. I just read Malcolm's book and I saw how Malcolm was able to flip his situation. And I was like, Damn, you might be able to flip harder than Malcolm flipped. Yeah. So I just, I just went to work. Yeah. I knew I was going to win my case. Bring me them business books. Credit. I just got a, I got a text last night for one of my students, my best student probably since I got home on the credit game. Uh -huh. She hit me last night with a video she been working with about seven months. Million dollars worth of credit cards. Mm. Got a credit up there. See what, my stuff ain't popped like that yet because I'm an addict. I take all mine and dump it back in. I keep dumping it back in so mine ain't really like exploded yet. Mm -hmm. right. I figure in about six months, seven months, you know, like right now, I'm finna do a, I'm finna do a mixtape. I'm looking for artists right now. I, I ain't set to how much money I'm gonna give to the winner, but it's gonna be at least 150, 200 thousand. I'm gonna get to the artist. I'm looking for artists for myself. I want to put an artist out now, so I'm gonna have a contest. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know a mixtape or something. Uh, 
for the best artists that I can find. Hell yeah, yeah, too. Somebody, somebody, somebody I got all the producers. Bro. I got all the producers, baby. Right. They yeah. all fuck with me. Now them producers, yeah. different story. Yeah. They, they fuck with me. They you know. know. Yeah. Yeah, they fuck you me. You the OG, man. You started all this My shit. My boy Fonderoy, uh, uh, Bobby Vila called me last night, Brian Kennedy, mm. uh, Rockstar. Oh. You called me last. Hit Matt. boy. Yeah. 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 Yeah, you know what you're talking about. We're gonna put, we're gonna put, well, I'm gonna put, a, I'm gonna put a, a mixtape together that's gonna be fire. This thing gonna be like, I'm gonna make a statement like, just because you do a little music don't mean nothing. Yeah. You know, I'm sure in the box was the same thing. Like, you know, my boy Anthony Peterson, he can't get none, none, none of them don't want to touch him. You know what I'm saying? They scared of him. They scared of him. What weight class he in? Uh, 35, 40. He said he don't care who it is, what their name is, how many belts they got, you know. And he got, he got a story too, man. His brother is uh, Lamont Peterson, uh -huh, uh -huh. and they went through a lot, man. People people took advantage of them, you know, yeah. because they had that street love, you know. You know you know how dudes is, man. And, and and like a lot of people don't understand why these gangs are so tight, you know, why they'll kill for each other, why they'll die for each other, or with each other, you know. That's a mentality that these people don't understand, you know. And if you ain't from that, <clears throat> you won't, you won't, you won't get it. Fact. And and that's how <clears throat> we allow so many people to take our money. Yeah. You know, black people, we allow other people to come in with all kind of schemes and and, and things and, and wind but up. But in your documentary, that, they were saying that you were able to move around the whole city amongst. All the people and shit like that. I do that different right gangs now. and all this. I do that right now. Yeah. Right. I just left Memphis. I ain't, I ain't got nobody going. Right. I ain't got nobody going. Right. Right. Go to Chicago. I ain't got nobody going. Matter of fact, Chicago though, I brought you know, Bible and and, and swag and, right. and, and man, y'all cutting together, man. Right. They got a, they got a thing. They want to stop all these youngsters from killing, man. Right. Facts. Well, you know, when you got to the pen, remember I showed you how to shepherdize because somebody had to show me how, and I knew you probably fit the same category I fit. Right. So I taught you the same thing. Right. Still having a lot of spread. That's the only way we're going to lift ourselves up, right. you know, is if we take the time out and help each other. Right. <clears throat> but we can't keep supporting the same systems that has taking us down. Right. That's what I was going to Like, how did you know you, you just said you knew you was going to win your trial? I was just going to say, you got that appeal. Because I could read. Later. I could read, right? I could read. And once I read, remember I told you about the three strikes. Right. So so I didn't finish telling you that, did I? My bad. I, I get, I'll, go, I'll go all off track. Go ahead. <laughs> buy man, shit. Hey, all know. them shits, we, we won't hear so it all. We won't hear it all. I get arrested one time. No drugs. No drugs. No None drugs. of them, no drugs. Never. One of them on the phone saying, no, motherfucker, I don't fuck with you no more. And they still didn't die me. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Hey, guess what he told me? Guess what the prosecutor told my lawyer? He said, oh, no, we, we don't think, we think Rick might win in trial. But if he loses, he's going to get 44 years. Fuck that. He wanted you to take that plea. He said, take the plea. He said, I just want the conviction. That's Why? all I care about. What was so the plea? They need a head. They need, they the need plea? a head to put on the wall, bro. Ten years. Ten years. That's all that, that's all they wanted ten. The first time I got ten. But see where they thought they were setting <coughs> me up at is they, they they was thinking that I was gonna have three convic three convictions, which is three strikes. Right? You would think they three strikes. Right. But then when I started reading the law books, the law books started explaining what a strike was. So I found out that a strike is if you commit a crime, go to prison, get out, commit another crime, go to prison, get out, you got two strikes. Right. Now the difference in, the, in, in my case is that when I went to prison, I got three strikes. Off one. Off one. one. I never got out. So technically, I had never been punished. Right. Yeah. 
See, prison, they, they consider prison a punishment. So once you've been punished... You come out and that's a strike. That's a strike. Right. right. But that didn't happen to me. So when I saw that, I was like, oh, man, they're going to have to rewrite their whole book. I'm going home. Right. <laughs> I'm going home. Right. 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 Yeah. Right. yeah. And then, that, that, hey, man. and then they all got twisted off of, well, they're different states. I said, the book don't say if they different states or not. Right. Right. It right. don't mention different states this at was, all. This was federal. This was. The one thing they mentioned was intervening arrest. Which is? Got out of prison. Right. Mm. I never got out. I never got out. There was no intervening arrest. Mm. And that killed it for him because mm. the, the court stood on that. The appeal court stood on it. So it got to be that intervening arrest. But they should have threw my whole case out. Because my informant <coughs> shouldn't even been over here, man. He ain't had no I got papers. him kicked out the country. He ain't had no papers. Yeah, he ain't had no papers. They forged his paperwork. Ooh. Oh, never mind. So you got a fake person. Yeah, testifying in court. Yeah, you ain't supposed to be over here, bro. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so now you got a fake person. Yeah, you ain't supposed to be over here, bro. I'm glad I do cover it. Damn, they wanted you off them streets bad. Oh, man. That is they fucking to insane. They're going to force a nigga paperwork just to tell. <laughs> I didn't stop. Just to send a nigga to a whole other place. I didn't stop. I didn't stop. I kept, hey, I kept swinging. Facts. So he could be the plug in. I kept swinging. In any sting that was going Damn. on. Because hey, he wasn't saying hey, no, no from the heat, though. I kept swinging. <laughs> they put a story on TV. I kept swinging. I ain't going to stop swinging. I'm going to kick it. That's the whole operation. Do what you do. Do what you do. I'm going to keep swinging. Gotcha. Real. I ain't gonna stop swinging. Oh, man. It's so how long did you do in, in check out? 23 months. But I thought the, the sentence was 10. Yeah, but I did two, two bits. I did two bits. Okay. The 10 got knocked down to five. That's a whole nother story. You don't even want to get into that one. Then we, we, that's another show about corrupt cops and shit. Cops stealing money, beating motherfuckers in the head, and letting dogs bite them. Why? I that got Rampart, Rampart shit. Huh? The Rampart? No, that's, that's something different. The Rampart was an offshoot of the freeway. The freeway was the first ones. Them was the ones that didn't go to jail. Them niggas that got away. Yeah, they got away. Because, you know, I, I, I put a private investigator on their ass. <clears throat> That's a whole nother stuff. That's what I'm telling them. Snowfall. Y'all think Snowfall hey, is something? Hey, Y'all can hey, see a real hey, smart hey, motherfucker when, hey, when, right, hey, hey. when the movie come out and we financed. Right. The movie financed. I want in. Man, hold up, hold up, hold up. In. 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 Hey, wait, hold up. Hey, wait, what, 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 I can't wait. Private investigator. Independent. Independent. Call me. Independent. So all. Man. I'm saying when you me. when you all hired the. I'm saying that I wasn't going to get it done if I didn't go through you. You ain't going to get it done. I'm going to speak for everybody me. here. Right here, we, we, we want roles. I want in. Want in. And I love the goddamn whatever you got with the. I, got I love the I got punch you. up in it. I want in. I want to play some gangster shit. So, so man, it's no budget. You know, I told one of your homeboys the other day, right? From California, one one of the old school rappers. I, I can't mention their name though. I don't blame him. Say, uh, man, this movie here bigger than money, man. This shit bigger than money. Right. So fuck, what? What fuck the, the money? Hold on, I'm trying to this figure out what the private made, investigator man, found out. You saying it's low budget? Low. That, that ain't gonna be no low budget. No, no it ain't. No. Like twenty. It's gonna be slow budget because like twenty. We gonna get way hold more. Hold on. I want to know in. what the private investigator found, man. Yeah. You said you hired a pro. Yeah. Man, what if he came back and was like, man, these niggas some goddamn freaks. <laughs> <laughs> All they like is flat booted women. <laughs> <laughs> they they cut the bitch's head. ass off. <laughs> now I pay too much money for that. I don't want to know about no ass. Mm -mm. No. Nah. So the we need some dirt. How many? Man, we need some dirt. Yeah. He found it. Oh, he said it was all over the place. It was dirty. <laughs> he said it was all over the place on the rivers and uh, houses up in Aspen, Colorado. It was dirty. And, it dirty. And, uh, yeah, he, he, he found a whole bunch of dirt. He said dirt was everywhere. He's like, damn, I can't believe these are narcotic Ooh. agents. Look. Okay. Robbing Ooh. all the drug dealers. Robbing them. But they was colder than that. They wouldn't just rob you, right? Say when they come over your crib, you got a million dollars at the crib. You ain't got no dope, cause this your crib. Right. right. Your, back, your mom, I mean, your, 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 your lady, your kids, and you know, this is where the family at. Don't right. nobody come out there, you know what I'm saying? They come in, they find a million dollars, plant two keys of cocaine on you. 
And what they take? They the take money. All of them. <laughs> Every dollar. They might leave like 40000 to go with the cocaine, you to know, so when they go legit. in to the right. judge. Right. Look how smart they was. You go into the judge. Uh, Your Honor, uh, the money mine, but the cocaine ain't. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Right. Then so you look agree. at you like you crazy. Right. The judge pipe. The money is yours, huh? But the cocaine ain't don't belong to you. What judge gonna believe that shit? Right. And then yeah. you gonna tell Your Honor, and it was more. Yeah, it was more money. <laughs> right. They right. took my money, right. man. AKA uh, Luke Eyewalker, AKA the visionary, is going down in a major way, man. That's right, I'm finally here. 85 South, 85 South, 85 South. We're talking about my new show, New Jack Thriller City, man. I got some of all my famous friends coming through from Music Soul Child, RL, Drew Hill, Delicious. Um, it is we're down in a major way, man, and I need you to tune in, not now, but right now, to Channel 85. Make sure you subscribe to New Jack Thriller City on YouTube. New Jack Thriller City on YouTube. I'm telling you, it's going to be crazy, entertaining from one to done. I'm even giving out relationship advice. So if you need relationship advice, man, make sure you DM me at Jack Thriller. New Jack Thriller City. New Jack Thriller City, live on channel 85. Hey, do I have something in mind? Y'all go to commercial. Don't kiss them hoes in the mouth unless you got to. Let's go. Hey man, fuck it, I'ma tell the truth. I had more, way more money than that. I was, I had sold all my cocaine, though. I know for a fact. <laughs> <laughs> all my dope was gone. Damn. Yeah, but that's, 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 that's So you can't really accept none of that shit. Like, ain't none of that shit, man. <laughs> 40,000 or the cocaine. I ain't, I ain't have no money in that motherfucker. Well, I mean, no what? Not like Young, listen, I, I had a birth certificate in that bitch. I don't even have enough to afford two hey, keys of cocaine. Because I only had 40,000. Yeah, 40, that 900,000. That 900,000 gone. That's a whole situation to be put in. That's gone. Especially when it's planted on you and you know you can't do nothing about it. You're like, now you know damn well. <laughs> this now, is, how much was it? How this. much was a key when you first started getting First key I bought was forty-eight thousand. But what you what's the when you got I heard I saw something I think you said you cooked a kilo in the microwave because you had it to do. First time maybe. maybe yeah. So. Yeah. How? What price they was at there? Still forty-eight. Oh no, I got I was getting key the cheapest I got them was nine five. Oh, oh shit! I was like, yeah. Shit! I'm yeah. like, and you sell it for forty-eight? Nine oh, no, five. no. When I was getting them for 48, I make 200,000. Okay. So shit. Okay. So, so the price of the cocaine was fluctuating like that? So then you got it for no, nine, but no. you... No, Well, what happened is, is, is we pushed the price down. We thought that, that, that it would be better if it was cheaper. Right. So we pushed the price down to make it affordable for everybody. Right. And then, you know, a couple guys that, that, that I taught how to sell cocaine, you know, they learn how to sell cocaine maybe better than I learn how to sell cocaine. Right. And then we got, because we homies, so we can't have no physical war. Right. But we got drug wars, you know, with the prices. So, right. Tommy selling them for this. Yeah, that little motherfucker. I'm going to sell them to you for 11. Right. Right. I'm going to sell it to you for 12. You know, just right, beating right, their right, prices. Right, so right. it just kept driving the price down right. and down and down and down. What'd you say, Cat? Because Cat from LA. At, at the height of, you a legend, OG. But at the height of, how much money was you making like a week? At the height, sheesh. Some weeks, maybe 11 million, 10 million would go through my hands a week. 
a week. Yeah. I had weeks like that. But you still had to re up though, like all of Oh, then yeah, all of it was mine. Yeah, all of it, but you still I had to cut like it up. 200, uh, off a million, I get like 200,000. Right, still gotta be made though. That shit still gotta be made. Gotta put in the $800,000 work for you even to get your 200,000. Well, that's what got the price, is that money. Facts. That money by the price. Yeah. You know, you can't get the price uh, <clears throat> if you ain't got no money. Right. Nobody wanna give you nothing, you ain't got no money. Right. Same thing with the weed. I'm gonna win in the weed business because I'm gonna have money. Right. You know, I'm, I'm going to be able to go to them and, and put money on the table and be like, you're going to take it or leave it, because if not, I'm going to go right over there and I'm going to buy from him. Right. And then once, you know, once once they, they run it all the way down to the ground like they're doing now, Facts. and then I'm going to say, okay, now I'm going to buy your form. How much you want for your form? Right. Yeah. You don't know what to do with that either. Right. Yeah. I'll take it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. I'll take You're it. You're talking though. to the man, man. Hey, no I'll cap. take it. All legal, man. You hear me? Yeah, man. No cap. It's going to be fun, man. This 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 new ride is it's going to be fun. Man, like, we I appreciate it. I got to come to some of the boxing matches, man. Check yeah, out. Man, I don't yeah, give a fuck yeah. what it is. Whatever you need me yeah. at, I'm yeah. there, OG. Yeah. You know, my, 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 my guy, Anthony Peterson, he's going to be fighting in D.C. Uh, October the 1st. Uh, uh, Bashan Champ gonna fight October 8th in, in San Antonio, and then Kid Austin gonna fight on the 22nd in in, uh, uh, in California, Palm Springs. So, man, we gonna we gonna be out there, man. Y'all come watch him, man. They, we, I'm gonna get me, I'm gonna get me a title. Yeah, 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 go. Yeah, I'm gonna get me a title. Yeah, man, yeah. I can't wait to see the movie. I'm man. undefeated right now in the, in the ring. We we undefeated. We ain't yeah. lost around. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> No yeah. We're so, waiting on the movie. We can't wait to see oh, it. Oh, man, two of my boys told me. My boy over at Bella said, get y'all this here. Y'all got free cleaning. No okay. cap. Where is it? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Y'all see that smile? That's who did my smile. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you like to smile. They said, man, the boy T fucked up, you man. Wanna <laughs> <laughs> you want to smile like me, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so he said, if y'all just come by, he's going to look out for y'all. Okay, bad. No, man, we appreciate you, OG. We well, see you've been working. You say you've been working with the kids and talking to them. What what are you what kind of advice are you giving them these days? Shit. To the you youngsters can sell dope, in general. You can do anything. If you can sell dope, you can do anything. If you can sell dope, you can do anything. Okay. <laughs> Look at Rick Ross. Look where he come from. That's all you got to do. Talk about you, though. <clears throat> <clears throat> Yeah. Yeah. Right, that other guy name ain't no Rick Ross. <laughs> so I would never be calling him Rick Ross. I call him by his real name because I know it. Right. William Roberts. Damn. You know what I'm saying? And he he gonna go down in history, man. The guy that stole Rick Ross's name. That's right. his legacy. You the real. You the real. Just don't go to the bathroom, please. <laughs> 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 Lock the door, man. Yeah. <laughs> no nah. cap. I mean, besides your story, are you interested in doing any more movies? I'm gonna finance movies. Right. My my goal is to finance, to be in a position to, to finance at least one movie every month with a couple million dollar budget. Yeah, I was gonna go back to the million dollars. I mean, you said like 11 or 12 million dollars a week in cash? Yeah. That's a lot of money. Hell yeah. That's 44 million, nigga. Hell yeah. Money. yeah. Shit, the weed business though, they say, they say California weed business is gonna be 58 billion dollars a year. Now I say if I just carved me out 5% of that for myself and my people. Right. It's great. We'll be good. We, but you see, but you we see. We won't need no, huh? No, go ahead, go ahead. I, I, go ahead. Go with your plan. We ain't going to need nobody to give us computers. We ain't going to need nobody to house us. You know, we, we, we take care of all our own shit with just 5% of that 58 billion. So carve it out. I told them to carve it out. They can go ahead and carve it, you know what I'm saying, right now. But look, look how many people, <laughs> but look how many people that's incarcerated for weed. But when the government said, well, we want in, now it's okay to sell weed. It's the same weed. 
Not that, even only okay, you could trade that shit on the stock market. Worse than you that, buy though. weed stock. No, right you know, even worse than that. Is that it's they, the same fucking weed, nigga. They cutting out the people who started the industry. Yes, right. They, are. they cutting out dudes to, who yo. live off of selling weed. It's people out here that live off, take care of their families from selling weed. Yeah. And now you cutting off their livelihood and telling them that they can't even get in the market. That's what's real fuck. That's right. Fucked up. Right. Because that's only the best weed. The best weed deal is locked up. Right. I don't like going to dispensary. That shit trash. I want to go. I want to go somebody that been knowing how to sell weed. Got that Nobody. Time. And that's what's gonna kill their market because they ain't letting the people in who who bucked the system in the first place. Mm -hmm. Right. Who started? Who started it? Well, right. They started infrastructure. <laughs> the quality going down. We don't give a fuck about them bags. <laughs> hey, look, I, I, I had put out that one time. Infrastructure. We want good weed. No cap. Hey man, welcome back to the 85 Step Show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We in here with none other than Freeway. What? <laughs> we in here, man. Real deal, Holyfield. Man, man your life has been so entertaining. And we appreciate, you know, you putting your story out there. Like you said, it's a, got the number one. Documentary on Netflix. Uh, it's some more episodes, man. It's more, like, that's what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, the story, like you it. said, there's so much shit that goes along with this story, like the crooked cops and the setups and the snitches <laughs> and the <laughs> station wagons and the... Man, we can keep going. Right. That's why this thing gonna run for about 10 or 15 years when I do this, this, this real TV, some real TV show. Yeah. yeah. Some real street stuff. Hey, 50, go What's ahead one of the most in. shocking you things that you in. learned in your case? To you. When you first seen it, you just couldn't believe this shit was real. That the president of the United States said it was okay to sell cocaine? Uh. Yeah. He ain't tell everybody that. If he if he allows the CIA to bring it into the country, Come on. then he okayed it. You're right. Fact. You know, uh, some people say, uh, uh, Nancy say, just say no and, 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 and Ronald said, act like you don't know. Damn. What so happened? the CIA admitted that they knew their guys were selling cocaine. Hmm. Okay. But they act like they didn't know. What's the most cocaine you ever seen? At once. Oh, oh. I don't know. So a couple what? hundred keys. Couple. Honda. Not a hundred, Honda. <laughs> That's another number. That's a lot. But I'm gonna be controlling all the weed. Facts. How many tons of weed I'm gonna be controlling? Mm. The right way though. See, like I just told my guys the other day, right? <laughs> I don't know, I get crazy sometimes. I'm you got little, to. I'm a little off. You got to. But I told him, I said, look, man, you know, I'm writing this new book. I said, how do you want to be portrayed in this new book? Mm -hmm. You know you're going to be in there. Like all of these chumps that I've been speaking to and talking to ain't giving me no help. The whole story going to be in the book. You putting everything that done happened to me in the book. So I asked my homies, I was like, man, how you want to be portrayed in this new book? We know how you was portrayed in the old one. Mm -hmm. Are you going to keep that same storyline? Mm -hmm. Or are your storyline going to change? Are you going to elevate to another level? Mm -hmm. And uh, I just had that conversation with him. So I spoke at a black empowerment group Saturday and Sunday, and I told them the same thing, that today is the beginning of your new book. And you got the right to write your future in this book right, right now today, or where you plan on going in your life. And <clears throat> once you write that book, then you have to start living that life. Fair in order to accomplish that which you said you wanted to be the end of the book. If that makes sense. No, I'm okay. No, definitely. 
Hello, everybody. My name is Carlos Miller, and I just came to spread a little black love because I hope you're having a good day because this is a good day scent. That's black love. Since I love you so much, I want to give you my discount code, my personal discount code, and go and get 25% off. L-O-U-S. Kind of look like love if you write it fast. But if you use my code, you'll get an additional 25% off if you go to the Good Day Sense website and buy you some of these dope-ass candles. Man, that shit really do smell like black love, though. Like, after black people been holding hands with some cocoa butter on. That's love. Use my personal discount code so you can get you some of these nice-ass candles. And have a good day with a good day scent. 25% off. L-O-U-S. Black love. One of my favorites because I love you. And you're black. Even if you're not black, the code still works. That's the beautiful part about it. It's crazy. I'll see you next time. Do you have diabetes? Hi, hi. That nigga need to hear that. Tell you that. that How are you, yet. man? Nice to meet you, sir. How was your name, sir? Big Dick. Big. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Death row. Don't do it, it's a false book. Yeah. Speaking of the book, where can they find your book? I oh, didn't get my book at freewayrickyross.com. Please don't go to Amazon. It's Come on. Jeff Bezos pays me very little. Damn. Uh, but you can't get it on Amazon. Uh, but if you would. But don't. <laughs> and you get it for mine, I'm going to autograph it too. Yeah, yeah and, that's dope. And then that makes it almost like an NFT. Authentic. There's going to be places that you can go with that book. There you go. Just because it's autographed. It got no autograph. Now I know you bought it from Amazon. And you yeah. don't get in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can't get in. You can't get that's in. Real. I like your book, yeah. but it ain't, it ain't the one. Oh, uh, uh, who made that? <laughs> it ain't the one I gave you. You feel me? No care. Outside of that, though, boy, it's your feet. Hell yeah. They gonna have it signed you know by. <laughs> they gonna have it signed oh, by the other Rick Ross. <laughs> no care. That ain't me. Nah, man, you gotta make sure it. You gonna say okay. Wrong. When I was sitting in prison uh, with a life sentence, without the possibility of parole, and Gary Webb from the San Jose Mercury News. Uh, who's no longer with us. He uh, killed himself, or so they say. Shot himself in the head twice. With a 12-gauge shotgun, I think they said. That's what it was, a 12-gauge shotgun. With a shotgun. I don't know if it was a 12-gauge or not, but twice. shot himself in the head twice. He's the one that broke the story and started this big whirlwind about the CIA planting drugs into the black community. That's, That's real. Real. That really happened. And he was a reporter. Yeah, yeah, he was a reporter from. He was a a, 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 real, a world renowned reporter. He wasn't just the reporter. He was like this big time reporter. Before we get out of, can you tell us what you know about that particular part about them putting the drugs in the black community? Some people have heard it, but from somebody who actually was there in real life, it might just hit different. I, I didn't really know much about the, what the CIA, I, I didn't know nothing about the CIA until I went to prison. But, uh, you know, my, my drug supply was a CIA operative, so he was one of the nexus to, to, to the uh, 
to the puzzle. But I didn't know much about that. I was, you know, a young ghetto boy. As long as they brought me good dope, cheap prices, I was happy. And that's all I cared about. Um, if it came from the CIA or the Mexican Mafia, I didn't care. Cali Cartel, Medellin, it didn't matter to me. You know, as long as they met my price and, and, and got, gave me great stuff, then I was, I was cool with it. <clears throat> so I only found out about that when I went to prison. Damn. But Gary's book is, is, is kind of like, well, not only Gary's book, you know, the CIA admitted that they knew the guys were selling drugs, you know. They, they admitted it on their own, their own self, you know. They had records, too many records that were showing transactions that they couldn't say that they didn't know, you know. They had to. They had to admit it. So they admitted that, yeah, we knew they were selling dope, but we didn't sanction it. Damn, cold world. God, you got them niggas standing up listening to me. <clears throat> yeah, right. that's what I'm, I told right. you, man. It's, it's a whole generation <laughs> of people hot pockets and who shit. think <laughs> that. <laughs> like I said, it's a whole generation who think that shit fuck? didn't really happen, man. Yeah, it really happened. And a generation like them passed, but it still that happened. In real life. Real life. Yeah. In but real it's life. happening, it's happening again right now though. Right in a different kind of way though. It's a different drug. What year that was? Uh early eighties. That shit was still jet popping off. You got a nigga talking about the beginning of the nineties though. <clears throat> what about the early eighties? Damn. Any any questions? Yeah, Meech, Meech used to call me when I first got home. Uh, Meech, uh, Meech, I, uh, Meech started writing me. Uh, <clears throat> Wendy Day wrote me one 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 day, and uh, she said uh, she asked me had I heard about Meech uh, getting arrested and blah blah blah. And uh, I told her yeah, I wrote it back, and I said yeah, I heard about it. And she was like, will you will you talk to him? And uh, we started a conversation through the mail. Um, when I got home, he used to call me and tell my PO, uh, they, they took me back to court. They almost violated me for taking calls from prison when I got out. So Meech was one of the people who used to call me. And uh, I had to stop taking calls from people that was in prison. I was ordered by the judge to stop taking calls from people from prison. And that was the last time I talked to him, you know. Uh, but yeah, we used to talk. Damn. What do you think his chances are of beating his, getting his appeal like, like nah, that? I don't know. You know, it's, it, it's hard to say. You know, I don't keep up with the law anymore. It, it's right now. I'm 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 on a paper chase right now. If, if it ain't making dollars, it ain't making sense to me right now. I found out. Necessary. Yeah, I yeah. found out you can't function out here if you ain't got no. Don't nobody respect you. You ain't got no money. Right. You could be the smartest motherfucker in the world. You ain't got no money. They ain't gonna show you no respect. So I said, you know what? Go ahead. Let's put some paper together so we can show them that there ain't nothing but paper. Yeah. Make all this you want. Fucking tomorrow, all I care about is the paper. <laughs> 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 oh, gee, I'm telling you, man. That shit, Stack it to the ceiling. You hear it? That's all I fucking know. Uh, Don't care. Well, it's good to see you in good spirits, man. Man, I'm loving life right now, man. Yeah, Take control, man. Yeah. Keep God first. It's, keep working, man. Man, this stuff's so good. You want a water or something? I can use it. Yeah, give me a water. Appreciate it, appreciate it. You done been to Magic yet down here, OG? Yeah, I done been to every strip club. Oh, man. man. Oh, oh, man. Country, man. Damn. So you, you said, probably ain't here every strip club. I ain't been there. You know what I mean? It's the first time now. They you better let you in. 
Yeah, you been caught up. He was there with them Labra Cadabra. They don't pay me to come. They don't pay me to come to a couple of these shows. Hell kids. Yeah. Hell kids. Hell kids. They gave me a little bit, a little bit of the royal treatment. Yeah, you don't Put a little money in my pocket. Right. You know, right. I go there and sell them books. That's what them boys and we buy them books. Welcome gotcha. home. Yeah. They buy them books. Yeah, yeah they got. So I got a hundred dollars for a book before. You got a book right now? Nope. I sold out. <laughs> yeah. ah. about. I sold out, man. I need, we got you, one. More I need questions me one time. I got you. I got you. Anybody else? I need me one time. Say the name of the book. Say the name of the book. Freeway Ricky Ross, Untold Autobiography. 21 Keys to Success. Ooh. What are some of them? Huh? Get a hundred. Give us three. <laughs> the first one, get a hundred. <laughs> Determination, you gotta be determined. Ooh. Without determination, there's nothing. Let's go. Save at least 20% of everything you earn is yours to keep. Make your money work for you. Don't work for money. Mm. Hell yeah. Damn, you started clapping. I was, I was gonna see how many more he got. I know. Nah, he only gonna give. He had to cut him off. Nah, you know he only gonna give us a sample. Nah, he, 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 he didn't get into it. I, I can see it. Uh-uh, man. Y'all are clapping He's shit. He's gonna take us through all two. Too damn early. Shit. <laughs> he was about to be like, I can't remember that. I can't remember that. I need the book. You got to get the book. Hey, that's why I was telling you we need to find this book. Cause man, niggas gonna listen to a nigga who made 11 to 15 million dollars a week. In the 80s. Yeah, that's like forty million dollars now. But nigga, I understand right. though. Even in our in our culture, bro, respect is, is has to be is earned, but also given when you know a nigga done laid down that foundation and done put that work in. They took the chances and came before back. You facts. Before Come on, you, man. nigga, somebody was here before you, young. Johnny Cash shit. Still a young. the law and won. Hmm. So off eleven million, you made two hundred thousand dollars a million. You made about one point one million. I don't know. One point two. No, he made all of it. But that's more than that, though, because that's two, four, six, eight, ten. That one shit. being yeah. two, four, six, eight, ten. Just tell him it was all money. Two. It was money every two goddamn point two. way. I'm on like 2.2. 2.2. Off 11 key. Two off one. Two, two four, off six, one. Two eight. Off a, I'm going off a million. Off 11 million, fool. Two, four, six, eight million. Two, four, six, eight million. Off the other million. Two. Two point two. Two point two million. Clayton, where are you? <laughs> I think so. I nah, man. I don't think so. He black. Yeah. If a black man got fifteen million dollars. I don't give a fuck who they owe. They keeping most of that. Nah, you got to pay the plug. <laughs> yeah, but the plug, plug don't. You don't owe the plug nine million dollars. Nah, you got to pay for Not, the product. But you got to keep in mind, like you done already did that. Yeah. You, you got to pay these it's people. It's little levels of plugism. No, oh. When a nigga oh. actually give you some shit that you ever never thought you would. Pay that man his money, man. Yeah, he get paid one week, but the other three weeks is profit. Nah, we don't work like that. All right, man. Pay that man his money. How you go? Eleven million, you know? <laughs> you ain't playing. You ain't playing with a nigga money. Like I can't tell you in two in two weeks. He gonna send a private jet. You gonna bring him that fucking money? No, they know you got. That's the thing about it. it ain't no urges. They not tripping off the money. Like give my goddamn money right fucking now. About that, I need what you, you too. About? I need you too. Give me my money so you can get this other shipment in. They not worried about I'm that shit. I'm not giving you another load without my money. Yes, they will. Well, somebody finna come knock at your door. They literally know you got all the They're money. They're outside. Man, please hear this. They don't know what the fuck they talking about. <laughs> They're outside. No, they want you to have the dope. You could get it. Get it. <laughs> but I still need my money, nigga. What do you need? They not tripping about the money. They not tripping about the money, but they know at the end of the day, this not a, I'm giving you this, and then you have a certain amount of time to get it to me. I need my money once you got your, you get your product later. Hey man, this shit ain't like the movies. I don't know if this actually. You don't even know where to take this money to give it to these people at. <laughs> you ain't gonna be the one to give it to them. Exactly. That what I'm trying to tell you, so the shipment already coming because the money on the way. Fuck it. All this shit <laughs> hypothetical anyway. Yeah, very much so. You don't know what kind of very relationship they so. had. It might not. <laughs> hey, I get this one, you get the next one. Yeah. Boy, this is a hypothetical. This, hypothetical. Was, this is big okay. money shit. They were just in the, in the room laughing at the bar. Who's buying the 
<laughs> cocaine. <laughs> All the bricks on me. <laughs> they free this week. <laughs> <laughs> it's Christmas. Rick, take 500 more. <laughs> CIA. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, before everybody goes to jail, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Arrest me? Everybody! <laughs> Police chief, everyone! Police chief! Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. You stupid. I see, okay. Yeah, they don't give a fuck. Well, shit, man, you know, we can literally do this. Oh, okay. fucking. We gotta do it again. But yeah. this is part. We're gonna say that right when we post this, we're gonna tell them that it's part one of ten. So you gotta come back nine more times. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but this yeah. time it's gonna be like after like the movie drop, your movie. You feel me? We won't so let exclusive. you drop the website again so people can know how they can support you. Well, if I win, a, keep up if with I win the world everything. title. I should be back in here. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's yeah. gonna be. Or oh, come before to promote the world title. Yeah. All right. We do that too. Yeah. We're yeah, we gonna work some of maybe one of the artists. When I find my artist, that this gonna be the coldest artist right. in the game. Yeah, they're gonna take when you they when you they find them. They gonna take. I was send. watching the eighty five. I was doing it. Just thank God that you yeah. like <laughs> You can you can send their music. Uh, hit me on uh, Instagram, Freeway Rick. I'm telling you, don't do that. Send them to send them to your manager or something. They flooding your shit. They can flood me. I'm All kidding. right, I'm gonna answer them. I like them. But I did. I like them. Well, we got to get you to sign the table before. No you cap. Leave. Yeah, we need this one. All right. Everybody All right. else done sign it, but yeah. huh? find you a spot. I ain't never it don't matter excited. where it is. Hey. There you go. And I'm gonna get you to sign this article. For hey, you. yeah. I need you to sign something for me too. I don't know what. I no, got the. You know, I got the book already. Got the frame that motherfucker. I'm gonna tell my son. Listen, what's this motherfucker is? Shit, the 23rd. Let me with cocaine. 823. Mm. 2.2 million. All his 85 South Show. <laughs> Freeway Rick, man. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. That's it. Legit. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, we're putting this in there. No, we appreciate right, you. He's going to do some behind the scenes on, questions on. with you right, right quick before you hear that. Thank you. Anytime. Thank you. Oh, we need Great that picture, shit. man. Thank you. You bullshit. Yeah, you I'm good. Right here? Yeah. First, you got to drop. Fellas, I like to work like this. Eleven thirty-six.